If Clayton Nolva does not get into the All Australian, I will eat the world's hottest chili pepper. pepper. If North Melbourne don't make the top four, I'll go skydiving. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I am going to be reacting to our pre-season predictions. All the other boys are busy at the moment. So I thought I would go back through and look at the video of us predicting what we thought would happen in the AFL season. This is always a little bit of fun to do, so let's get into it. G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am joined with Liam Connor. Austin, Young King, Cookson. Look at the absolute do on Cookson. Um, it's funny that like we were all sort of laughing at his haircut at that point, but realistically in recent months, I've been repping that haircut as well. Who will win the Brownlow medal for 2019? We're all well, well, thanks for having me back on the channel. <laughs> Not sure Van Gebs has been back on the channel since this, but uh, he'll definitely be in the, uh, the pre-season predictions next year. Uh, Brownlow, I think... We're going to Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly came 32nd in the Brownlow uh, race. Paddy Cripps wins a Brownlow. Rog going Paddy Cripps, great shout. Um, Cripo came third in the Brownlow, so that's the best selection. It's hard around it, so I've gone for Andrew Gaff. <laughs> Andrew Gaff, a lot of people were uh, messaging me at the start of the year saying, Andrew Gaff's suspended for the first two games, he can't win, like it's, he's ineligible. Well, he was eligible because the suspension happened last year. But uh, that didn't help anyway because he came 24th. Sean Higgins is going to... He had a good year last year, made his first All-Australian. And he'll uh, come and be the captain of the All-Australian side. Sean <laughs> Higgins. I, yeah, I laughed at that as well. I had a bit of a giggle. But fair play to Cookson. And it seems to happen in these pre-season predictions. Uh, Sean Higgins came 11th on 18 votes and missed a fair chunk of the year. So not actually a silly selection by the Cookson. The second thing we're going to predict this season is the Colmanian medal. Not much stopping Benny Brown, I reckon. Big boner. Big, big boner. Ben Brown on the last day of the season lost his Coleman medal to Jeremy Cameron. Heartbreaking stuff for the big boner. I think Lance Buddy Franklin, so I'll back in Bubba. Not the best year for Bard, was it? I reckon big Tommy McDonald is going to have a massive year down 40. T-Bone, what could have been for T-Bone? Uh, he kicked 50 goals and missed five games the year before, so I was adamant that T-Bone was going to rip the comp apart. And it's one of the worst seasons I think I've seen him play at the club. I don't know. Who else plays for? <laughs> <laughs> um, what did Cooks go Sean here? <laughs> Sean Attlee. Oh no, Cookson, oh no. Sean Attlee did not kick a goal all season. It's one of the first years that he's played and not registered one goal. All right, now we are going to predict the rising star. I don't know any of the players. <laughs> Go on, Setterfield. Setterfield. Yeah, Setterfield, good choice. He's the second favourite. That's right, I thought we were... Will Setterfield. He had an alright year, but nothing too crazy. Favourite started at $11, he's coming to about $2.50. So Roger gets Sam Walsh. I think we all wanted to pick Sam Walsh, but fair play to Roger, he got him. But I reckon Bailey Smith. Oh. I think he came top five. Champion data's player ratings, he was the second best first year player as well, Baz Lanka. So not the worst shout by myself, but um, yeah, obviously Sam Walsh was the, the best. Grian Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Grian Myers, what a shout. What an absolute shout. So. Ryan's from Geelong, he's from Torquay. Cook went to primary school with him, played a little bit of footy with him. And he's just said, yeah, this kid who got drafted from our area with dreadlocks. And I was like, yeah, he was all right in the under-18s a couple of years ago, but I'm not sure he's going to be anywhere near the rising star, Cook. Oh, why have you said Grian Myers? And he just came from nowhere, had an absolute outrageous season. So fair play to Cook. He's, uh, he's now hit the nail on the head. That's probably... I know Sam Walsh did win the Rising Star, but that's probably the best selection out of the crop. Wooden spoon, fellas. Jesus, it has to be unanimous, doesn't it? Yeah, you'd say... You'd say no, Kirst. It has to be Gold Coast. So you three going Gold Coast? Yeah. I'm going Cold, genuinely. As dumb as it sounded, at one stage, halfway through the year, Gold Coast had won two or three games and Carlton were, were winless. They were struggling. No one could have predicted the Blues to steam home like they did. It wasn't, genuinely wasn't out of the realms of possibility that the, uh, the Suns could pip them. Your top four predictions. In Adelaide are going to come back up. Collingwood. Collingwood wants to be handy. The Van Gems got two out of four there for his, uh, his top four selections. West Coast second. Then I'll go Collingwood, then Dees. Two there as well, Roggie. Adelaide third, and 
Collingwood fourth. Adelaide, they didn't come through for me. Once again, that's two. I'll go fourth, the Giants. I'll go third, the Roos. I'll go second, the Roos, the Bombers. First, the Cats. I thought he was kidding when he said that. The Cats finished eighth the year before and won like three games by under a goal. So they scraped through the eighth. They add Gary Rowan and Luke Dalhouse. I'm thinking Geelong are going to have an awful year. So when Cookson said number one, I thought he was taking the mick. But once again, fair play to him. They did pretty well. All right, we're going to predict a surprise All-Australian. And Big Mummy. <laughs> Public Mummy's going on another year. He was... Uh, he was walking wounded towards the end of this season. Australian. It's not a surprise that this man is an all Australian, but perhaps this year people have written him off. Playing in a forward pocket, Gary Adam will kick 50 plus goals and he'll find his way into a forward pocket. Is that a surprise? Yeah, that counts as a surprise, but I don't think many people would have it. He is in a forward um, I'm going to go with the high flying, I don't know what position he plays. Like but Irving Mosquito. <laughs> Isaac Heaney. That's not a surprise. I got told that Isaac Heaney wasn't a surprise all Australian. But Gary Ablett was. Now, I understand Gary Ablett going into this season. He's old. He's probably past his best. You know, it, it, the element of someone that old getting into the All-Australian would be surprising. But I thought, you know, Isaac Heaney hasn't made it ever. And it would be, in my head, a little bit of a surprise to see him. Like, it would be unfamiliar. So to see Isaac Heaney in the All-Australian kit, it would be, like, unfamiliar, a little bit surprising. When if I saw Gary Ablett in it, I'd be like, he's done this eight times before, so it's not that surprising. Jamie McMillan. He had 40 touches the other day. He's the worst. He was the worst, worst, worst player in AFL. I hate to play. How did he get a game in AFL next? No, but seriously, Jamie McMillan. Oh, he probably won't make all trade, but I already have a really good year. <laughs> That's an awful shout. That is a terrible shout. So at the end of the video, we all make a bet. Rogie's was that if Carlton don't finish higher than the Suns, he'd burn his Carlton top and eat the ashes. Mine was if Clayton Oliver didn't make the All-Australian, I'd eat a really hot chilli. And Cookson's was if North Melbourne don't make the top four, he will go skydiving. We don't have to do it, do we, Cook? What? We don't have to actually do it. I'm going skydiving. You're going to go skydiving. That means I've got to eat a chilli. Absolutely. I don't want to eat a chilli. Absolutely. If Clayton Oliver does not get into the All-Australian, I will eat the world's hottest chilli pepper, 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 pepper. Clayton Oliver did not make the All-Australian. Averaged 28, 29 touches a game. Won the D's best and fairest, but didn't make All-Australian. So, unfortunately today, Chilli McGee's coming out. We couldn't get a Carolina Reaper in time. Unfortunately, we had some other things to organise. But we've got one that is in the top 10. Habanero? Habanero. Habanero. We've also got extra Habanero chilli sauce on top. We also went to an Indian shop and got its hottest sauce as well. All right, everyone, gloves at all times. Glasses on. Glasses on, everyone. I'll put your sauce man on for you. We're, we're putting a hot thing on a hot thing. We're putting a hat yeah, on a hat. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Yeah, the boy. Good stuff. Swallow. Oh no! Jeez, you're leaking. Oh. Have another one. Oh. Oh. Don't touch your eyes. <laughs> it's not stopping. It's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> he put any mayo on this or is this genuinely? It's really, it's hurting. It's, it's, I can't. You're f leaking out of your face. It's... <sighs> it feels spicy, but it's burning. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to keep filming? This is just gross. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop filming for a bit. If North Melbourne don't make the top four, I'll go skydiving. I couldn't sleep last night at McDonald's. Really? Yeah, not much gets to me, but it's just probably the most nervous I've felt for I'm not nervous. I'm just a bit like, I don't know. I don't know. You're literally <laughs> jumping out of a plane. It doesn't feel quite real yet, Macca. You're a brave man.
any last words. Uh, such is life. <laughs> Do it for the subscribers, game. So silly. <laughs>